Right now, you should be imagining me saying a clever and catchy new tagline. Use your imaginations, and I just did. I've come to you today not to do a review, for a few reasons. Uh, the primary reason, or one of the primary reasons being, I don't have anything to review. Yeah, um... Some stuff was supposed to be sent to me, and I don't know if maybe the vape truck broke, or what, but I don't have anything. Um, I will be reviewing a new brick and mortar pretty soon that you might find exciting, but I didn't want to do a review on their flavors and then a review on their store and you guys be like, okay, we get it. Um, excuse me. So, I checked out, there's a few new brick and mortars here in Vegas and in the area, and I, one I checked out, which I'm not talking about right now, um, and the other one I'm going to talk to you about, but I'm not going to name it. And the reason I'm not going to name it is because I don't do these videos to harm anybody. Um, in fact, I don't do a whole lot of things to harm anybody. I just happen to be kind of clumsy and occasionally, you know, an elbow to the temple, whatever. It's not on purpose. Um, but I'm not trying to give anybody the wrong idea. and I'm not trying to upset anybody with what I have to say. And I understand people are going to get upset. That's fine. Um, recently, I went into a vape shop. What am I rambling about? Uh, that is, um, they... They explained to me how to use a uh, process to turn marijuana into something that I can put in here. And I didn't ask. Um, and I felt like, you know, they talked a lot about it, and um, I'm not making a statement on, on whether or not it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not affiliating politically with one side or the other on this, because I just don't think that's appropriate for me to do. Um, not to you guys. If you're one of my friends and you're sitting with me at a coffee shop, you're welcome to ask me, hey, how do you feel about it? But that's not what this video is about. Um, my point was, you know, there are new vapors walking in, and if your first impression of this is that it's a drug delivering device in a state where it's not legal for someone without a prescription to be delivering said drug into their system, then you're going to start thinking that this is not what it is. I mean, you're you're not going to think it's to quit smoking. You're going to think it's, you know, to start something else. And that brings me to the serious hat. You see, people get the wrong impression about me all the time. When I go into a department store or a boutique or Walmart, people think I'm going to steal stuff. They look at me and they see, you know, cat octopus and increasingly funny colored hair, um, and they think that I'm going to gank something. I'm, I'm a thief. I'm a criminal. I'm a miscreant, something along those lines. And I'm not. Um, I don't steal stuff. I mean, I'm not going to say I've never stolen, you know, anything ever. Like, okay, but I'm not going to say I have either. And it's been a lot, like, you know, we, I was a bad kid at some point. I'm sure, like, I've stolen a candy bar or something. But, like, it's really not my style. If I want something, um, I either beg for you to send it to me and I'll review it, or I go buy it. Um, but I understand about image. I understand about people's perceptions. And I'm not saying that their perceptions always matter. Obviously, they don't matter that much. I wouldn't go around doing stuff like this on the Internet. Um, on the same note, I try really hard to explain to people because so many people ask me questions that's the whole reason I started my blog that's the whole reason I started doing these videos and I have found that yeah I mean it's fun for me I'm getting something out of this which is just the fun of being part of your community and thank you for letting me be part of your community on that same note um, I've had to defend it a couple of times and be like you know this is not this is not for marijuana this is not for weed this is um, it's nicotine. I explain what's in it, and I feel like when I go into a vape shop and the first thing I hear is how to how to put marijuana in this, we're given the wrong idea. I mean, how many of us spent time huddled outside in corners while people walk by, giving us dirty looks, you know, pushing their kids around, and being like, "Oh, you terrible person! How could you possibly be smoking? I hate you. Die!" And I'm like, "I'm gonna die. I'm smoking. What do you mean?" Um. But I, I'm happy now. Like, I can step out of that, that scary, cold place 
outside and I can hang out inside with my friends and I can vape and, and we can talk about it and, and when people come up and ask me, I can tell them. And and it's this whole like it's it's like the sun has come out, even though I'm not really a sun person, but you know, like metaphorical sun, like a sun that wouldn't give you a sunburn, is out and it's shining and we're all able to just step into the light and and you know, not wear 30 coats because it's winter time and we know we're gonna spend half of our night outside smoking. I mean, I can sit outside if I want to. I can go anywhere I want. It's amazing. Um, and I don't want new vapors to have that that premonition. I mean, wh what if your grandmother wanted, and maybe your grandmother's not like mine, what if my grandmother wanted to switch over? You know, she smoked for 60 years. I think she, she finally just quit cold turkey. It was before all this came out, and she had to go through a lot to do that. Um, but what if your grandmother wants to vape and she walks into a vape shop and she's like okay okay guys I I am done with the cigarettes you know I, my grandma doesn't sound like that she's actually really cool um but what if that happens and they're talking about smoking I mean what is what is she gonna do is she gonna is she gonna want to quit smoking using vaping or is she gonna be afraid that when she goes in public with this device that all the kids are gonna think the grandma is smoking weed I mean that's that's my grandmother where she would step away. She no, no way. But you know, she's conservative. And a lot of people that are older than me are quite conservative. And a lot of people that are my age are quite conservative, and that's fine. My point is, can we try to, as a group, um, you know, I know that everybody getting along is not an option. I've seen that and that's fine. Um but can we as a group, as much as we might have issues amongst ourselves, uh, even if you don't have to respect each other, which I would prefer you did. But can we not make this about illegal things? If it's legal, fine. When it's legal, like if you live in Colorado or whatever, I don't know the laws there, but I mean, you know, fine. If it's mainstream, if it's normal for people, but if it's something that people are still having to hide, you know, we don't, we don't want to hide anymore. So that's, that's my rant, and this, this is not even my hat, so I'm going to take it off because it's not even fair to wear it. Um, there's good news, though. I will be doing... I will be doing a review on a local vape shop that I checked out that I really liked, or maybe I didn't, I don't know, you should watch the review and find out. Um, and a friend of mine has promised me 11 new hats. So in the coming days, there might be 11 hats. Now, maybe like two of them are the same hat or whatever, but I've heard she has a pretty extensive hat collection, and she's, uh, she's all for these videos getting more interesting. So um, I hope you enjoyed my rant, or at least I hope it meant something to you. At this point, let's pretend like I have a really cool like exit tagline. Um, and let's pretend like I said it. Okay, just now I said it. Alright, and then I'm gonna vape. And now you can go back to Facebook or hanging out with your friends or whatever you do. Okay, bye.